This is the story of Gregor Mendel, the father of modern genetics. Once upon a time, nearly 200 years ago, there lived a monk named Gregor Mendel. He lived inside a beautiful monastery, which back then was in Austria, but now is in the modern day Czech Republic. Gregor wasn't your average monk. He became known as the father of modern genetics. How did that happen? Gregor had a passion for God, but he was also mad about science. Plus, he was a very keen gardener. He also found time to conduct groundbreaking experiments in the monastery's garden with pea plants. Gregor came from a simple background. His family were farmers, and he spent his childhood in the deep countryside. He went to the local school where he was a clever, hard-working little boy, but his family didn't have the money for school. At the local monastery, Gregor could get lessons for free. Praise the Lord! The monastery had a lush and beautiful garden full of different plants. This was important because soon it became Gregor's outdoor laboratory. This was where he conducted his famous experiments with peas. Peas? Did I say peas? Mendel was curious about how you inherit characteristics from your parents, like big ears, or red hair, or blue eyes. He used pea plants as the way to explore this interest. Let's imagine him sitting amongst the greenery and whispering to his little pea plants. You there, with the round seeds, meet the one with the wrinkly seeds. Now let's see what kind of genetic magic you two can create. In the 1850s, he began to do careful experiments with thousands of pea plants, meticulously recording their characteristics and cross-breeding patterns. What he noticed laid the foundations of modern genetic understanding. Even though his ideas were to become very important, no one appreciated Mendel's work during his lifetime. In 1900, scientists rediscovered Mendel's experiments and understood how truly groundbreaking his work was. Gregor Mendel died aged 61 of kidney trouble in 1884, close to the monastery where he'd spent his life. He'll always be remembered for his pioneering work in understanding the principles of hereditary, a legacy that became the foundation of modern genetics. What is so important about Gregor Mendel? Mendel is one of the biggest honchos in the history of biology, so you've got to remember his name. Why? Here are four key reasons that you can dig deeper into if you're interested. His pea experiments. Gregor Mendel studied peas to learn how things like colour, size and shape pass from one generation to the next. Dominant and recessive. Mendel found that some characteristics are stronger, they're dominant, and others are hidden, they're recessive. Knowing this helps us predict what characteristic or trait children might have. One trait from each parent. Parents give one trait each to their kids. If one parent is tall and the other is short, their child might be tall or short, but not both. A new approach. Mendel's careful notes and his systematic approach to recording data was groundbreaking. Mendel's laws. The law of dominance. Some traits are dominant, they're stronger, and they hide the expression of recessive traits, but it doesn't mean they're not there. Law of segregation. Each parent gives only one copy of a trait to their child. The law of independent assortment. Different traits are inherited independently of each other. Nice work, Gregor Mendel.